we're back in my kitchen and we're going to make pizza. Really simple, easy pizza that doesn't take any time at all and you can do this for lunch on a busy work night. The oven just finished preheating. Um, the, the thing about pizza, I think there are two things about pizza that people think don't work for them or as vegans for them is number one, it, the, the cheese. You know, we love cheese and we think that without regular cow's milk cheese pizza isn't going to be worth eating. It's just not true, honestly. Okay, for starters, you can make really amazing um, cashew cheese and nut cheeses and other kinds of cheese. There are lots of books and recipes out there. And you can also buy store-bought vegan cheese that has come light years from where it was even just a few years ago when it tasted sort of like melted crayons on your pizza. No more. Forget the melted crayons. Now we have Daya. Daya is my friend. I love Daya. Um, there are several other really good vegan cheeses that are worth using too. This one, um, maybe I love it the best because they have it in my local market here in Little Taos, New Mexico, and so we, I always have it. I keep it in the freezer so it stays fresh longer and I use it on my pizza. The other thing about pizza that might be tricky to some people is the crust. You don't have to make crust. You can buy it frozen. Um, you can buy, you know, bobolis or, you know, those kinds of things. Or you can use flour tortillas. Mm -hmm. You're going to like this. Okay, we're going to make tortilla pizza or tortizza if you want to get cute with it. I'm starting with a tortilla on the bottom layer. That would make sense, right? And I'm spreading on some of my homemade cashew cheese. You can find the recipe for this on my blog and also on my in my recipe box, which you can purchase on my blog. And in there you get over a hundred of my recipes and I add new ones all the time. And you can print them out on cute little recipe cards or pull them up online. And um, it's, it's a really easy way of finding all of my favorite recipes in one spot so you don't have to scroll through three years, no, I think it's almost four years of blog posts. Anyway, okay, so there's, there's, can you see that? Okay, cashew cheese on the bottom of the pizza, and the trick that makes tortilla pizza kind of wonderful is that if you use two tortillas, you get a little bit more of a substantial crust. I use this glue, <laughs> glue, the cheese as glue in between the layers. And that's what holds those together and just gives it an extra uh, level of yumminess. Now take whatever kind of sauce you like, or no sauce if you don't like, and spread some on top of the top tortilla. It's pretty simple. I should show you this. I like this. This is a good one. It's uh, um, Rising Moon Organics. The garlic and basil. You have to read labels on sauces. A lot of them have cheese and sneaky meat items in them. So um, read them. This has this is vegan. It has nothing crazy in it. So that's the one I use most of the time. And then I'll put a sprinkle, just a little sprinkle of my Daya cheese on here. Just a little bit. I found with with vegan cheeses that if you use a lot, like the same amount that you might use. Uh, with regular cheese, it's going to be too strong and overpowering, and I don't care for it. So I just use a little bit of Daya on the bottom, and then I'll put another little sprinkle on the top, and you get that flavor, and you get some of the gooiness of the cheese, and it's really, really quite satisfying and delicious and wonderful, and not merely good enough. It's really, really good. So now I'm putting mushrooms on, and maybe some black olives. Definitely some black olives. Here go the black olives. And then um, a few other things. I meant to get some herbs out. I have fresh herbs from my garden that are hiding in the refrigerator, and they're not going on, but I would recommend that. And then uh, maybe a little bit of these tamari sesame seeds. I always keep these around. They're delicious. They have a nice salty crunchiness to them that's terrific on pizza. And then back to the daya that I had out for the video in the little bowl, a little sprinkle of that on top, 
and you're pretty much good to go. Obviously, put anything you want on your pizza, and uh, then we'll pop it in the oven. That comes next. I'm over here by my toaster oven. You can use the big oven if you want to, but because I'm only doing this one little pizza, I think this is going to be just fine. I have it preheated to 425, 425 degrees, and I'm going to put it in here for about 12 minutes. That's really all it should take. Pop it in, set it for 12, and we wait impatiently. The pizza's done. I'm going to pull it out of the uh, pan and put it on a cutting board. And just let that wait uh, a couple of minutes theoretically, but I'm not going to wait. Get a big knife and cut it up. And um, I think you know what to do after that, right? Yummy, right? Okay. So. That's tortilla pizza. Did I ever tell you that Rick and I used to have a pizza shop in Seattle? We did. Some of you probably even remember it. It was called Honeymoon Pizza. It was a little take and bake place in Wedgwood on 45th and 75th. No, 35th and 75th. It's been a while. Um, and we had all these terrific gourmet toppings and combinations and all kinds of really, really good stuff. And we were very popular in the neighborhood. We had that for about eight years, and I was the pizza queen there. I did most of the inventing of the toppings and sauces and combinations, and Rick was Dr. Doe, and he made all the crust. We had whole wheat, we had white. It was amazing and excellent. And after eight years of eating pizza, almost every night, for dinner, seriously, almost every night. Um, we still love pizza. So, yeah, there's something to it. The stuff is magical.